I'm here in my kitchen with ingredient um, for my first attempt at making um, a seafood gumbo. So I started off yesterday by um, making a seafood gumbo stock. That's the juice um, from the stock. And here are all the yummy spices and um, herbs that was in that pot. There's like um, some shrimp shells, there's onion, celery, carrot, bay leaf, um, thyme, parsley, clove, um, and it made this really rich uh, looking stock. I got the recipe from um, allrecipes.com and it's uh, Big Charlie's uh, gumbo. So, we will see how my first gumbo attempt turns out. Uh, here are a few of uh, all of the ingredients that I'm using that the recipe calls for. Well, all of them minus the, uh, the meat because, you know, we don't do like uh, beef. So, there's um, Worcestershire sauce in this bag. It's fresh parsley, celery, uh, garlic. This is some thyme, bay leaf. That's an onion, whole peeled tomato, lemon, butter, um, some crab meat, uh, some two pounds of shrimp, salt, um, pepper, salt, a gumbo fillet powder, and some uh, red pepper flakes. And of course, since I already made my stock yesterday, um, I think that that's going to be really great. So, um, stay tuned. This is going to be like a two-part series. So today I'm just going to do continue my vegetable preparation. And the next day after that is when I'm going to do the cooking. So, stay tuned. Hi, I'm here in my kitchen again. And I'm going to do my first attempt at um making gumbo so um before i showed um, my ingredients um, what's going into the gumbo and right here i have um all my vegetables that i'm using chopped so i have some celery um some onion uh garlic i have some um dried uh thyme and some i think that's oregano but don't get me wrong because I actually don't remember what I did. Um, and over here I have some other herbs that I just um, took and, you know, took the leaves off and just let those dry out. So I'll probably end up using those too. So uh, I'm going to get started. I have my um, fourth cup of butter. I'm going to use about um, two tablespoons of olive oil. And I think the recipe calls for a fourth cup of flour. This is Big Charlie's um, recipe from um, allrecipes.com. So I'm going to get started on uh, making the roux, which is to basically brown the flour with the um, butter and a little bit of olive oil um, to make it like a, um, a, a brownish color. So course I'm not going to be able to record while I'm doing that so let's get started I have my uh, one fourth cup of flour um, on medium and I'm stirring it constantly because you don't want to uh, burn your flour since that's going to be the base of your gumbo and over here I have melted melting in the pan my two tablespoons of olive oil and my one fourth cup of butter. So once I get this flour nice and brown, um, which will probably take about 15 minutes, then I will um, pour the oil and butter mixture into here. So uh, be back in a little bit. Remember, you have to stir this constantly. You can't like um, like go and check on something. Well, you probably could, but I know that I can't. You have to make sure you stir it constantly because the flour, um, you know, you might blink your eyes and then you wonder why your flour is black like charcoal. <laughs> Stay tuned. 
okay my flour is like really nice and brown and I'm constantly stirring it um, so that it doesn't burn so now I'm going to add my butter and olive oil okay so I just added my butter and my olive oil to the mix I don't have this up high but you do have to really stir it so that it doesn't burn and next I'm going to uh, put my chopped vegetable um, into the mix okay so I put my onion my um, herbs my garlic and my celery and I haven't added anything else to the mix yet I'm just kind of letting this um letting the onions and the celery um, soften up a bit and then I'm going to add um, my seasoning my um I have a little bit of cayenne some red pepper um, some salt and pepper and then I'm going to add this to the mix okay so my vegetables are um, nice and tender um, right here I have my seafood stock that I made a couple of days ago so now I'm just going to um, add this to the mix I'm going to add probably about eight cups of the seafood stock 